Today we're looking at an action camera from Timu, a 4K Wi-Fi HD camera. Is the GoPro dead? All right, we are going to start taking a look at this uh, action camera from Timu. It says Our Life. I don't know if that's a part of the name or the uh, wide angle lens, two inch LCD, waterproof. It is a model AT Q1, a 4K high definition Wi Fi action camera. And this is the way the box got here. It does work, but we're going to find out how good. Yeah, we don't need instructions comes with several brackets. The camera itself comes in one of these little cases. I've seen these laying around at yard sales and stuff like that uh, with and without the camera. Uh, I don't know how much this costs, but probably not a lot. Uh, it's almost just like one my wife bought when we went on vacation several years ago. So let's just dump this all out. <laughs> I don't know why it has a pry bar in there. Thanks, Timo. You've got uh, some sticky pads, I guess extras. There's a adapter. Doesn't really go with that, but you could put it on that. Or screw the bracket on there and here. So yeah, you got uh, you got quite a few bracket attachments. Here's a, of course, we've got the uh, power cable. Now, why did I get this? Uh, I got this because I have. Um, devices on shelves right up above here that uh, like a multimeter a uh, power supply for the digital output and I think I've got some video that I'm going to pop up in one of the corners uh, showing the uh, output from that and then I recorded something just on my phone watching one of my videos <clears throat> trying to see what the resolution is because I had gotten a camera it was a 4k camera uh, that I'd hope to use to do videos. Yes, I bought a Timu camera to record videos. It didn't work out. The cameras, and I don't know, maybe if you're 15, 20 foot away, it's better, but at this distance right here, it's all grainy. Uh, although it's supposed to be 4K, I said all the resolutions, as high as it would go, highest output, and still just a grainy picture is the best I could get. Okay, so you've got this, which is like a bar clamp to clamp on a pipe or something like that. Uh, of course, you've got these adapters. Here, they go like this. These adapters, it's like this, and then the camera would fit on this. So you've got, you've got tons of adjustability. And here as well, uh, for a standard camera thread adapter, which you have a piece here. Uh, but this is a wide angle lens. I don't know if it's going to be a fisheye output. I don't know what it's going to look like at this point. But uh, you're probably looking at it about now. Uh, so, let's see, let's take it out. So it comes in this case right here, and it's actually the best way to ship it because uh, it's a pretty stout and sturdy case. Uh, I, I don't know that it's just as good, if not better, than the uh, actual uh, GoPros. Um, so, but the case is not easy to get off. It is very hard to get this case off. Uh, you got to kind of, you got to kind of work. You got to think about it ahead of time. There is a slide switch on the top with an arrow that points to the side. So you slide that switch and lift up on the back side. So let's try that again. Slide the switch over and push, well, slide it over and push up on the back side. 
Now it's so hard because you got this, and I don't know if that's a silicone gasket, a neoprene gasket of some sort, but it's a pretty thick gasket, so it makes it hard to uh, to adjust. And so you have a power button on the front, and this case right here has an external button that does function with it. Uh, here's a record and uh, stop recording. <laughs> And the button is right here for that. Then you have up and down to go through the menus, and there's external buttons for this. So every button that you have on this thing is, uh, you have an external button here to uh, to use it, to access it. So we're just going to put that off to the side. Probably not grab it out again. You don't have access to the USB uh, charger or the uh, flash card in that case. But in this case, and it'll fit in there either way. fits in there like this, and you can turn it around the other way, and it fits just as well. But you still have access to the buttons on the side, the top, and of course the front. But you also have access to plug your power cord in, and it would be hard, but you can get that flash card out and push another one in. Now, I don't really know what this, uh, this part of the bracket here is. It looks like this maybe slides in and clips onto something. I'm not really sure about that. Uh, but you can take this piece, and, on this case, and screw it in to the bottom. If you're much better than I am at using nuts and bolts. And so now you have this adapter on the bottom. Now this can be used, you can put either the, the camera, which this is tightened up a little bit. Uh, you also, the GoPro, and this is exactly like the GoPro. This does fit all the GoPro uh, adapters. Uh, I mean, look, instead of buying GoPro adapters, just buy a bunch of these cameras, and you have all these kind of adapters. Probably cheaper than what you can buy the uh, GoPro adapters, and they work just fine. Um, just for the adapters. I mean, if the camera doesn't work, uh, or doesn't work worth a, a flip, then I'm going to still count it as a positive that uh, I have all these extra adapters and so I can use them with uh, the GoPro camera. Here's some small Velcros. Yeah, small Velcro strips. And then here's... There we go. That's not elastic, that's a solid band. This is one of the few things I actually bought off Timo, um, because you, if you play the game long enough, you actually win a bunch of stuff. But uh, no, this I did win this. This was free. I didn't pay for this. I don't know how much this is, but I think it's under twenty dollars. Yeah, I, I did win this in in one of the games. Uh, so pretty decent video because I'm really hoping this little camera will work because GoPros are just way too expensive to be able to set up. And so here's the battery. Now I have that battery from the one my wife got. I might have to grab it and see if I can uh, see if it'll fit in there. I know it. I'm, I'm almost sure it'll fit in there. It looks exactly like that one. But it only comes with one battery. So the button, the uh, on and off button, a uh, little short, well, I say a short, long press, and it comes on. Says, I, I think somebody designed a start screen for a camera in China, and now everybody uses it. So you pretty much see that on everything. Um, so let's see what happens. Okay, so it's videoing. Now, um, I'm going to definitely take this video that I'm shooting with it right now, and I, it's going to be playing in the corner up there. 
See that looks fuzzy to me in the screen. See directly in front of it is kind of blurred and to the side it's clear so it must be a fish eye. Now the screen blanked out but it is still recording. So uh, and to prove that you're going to be seeing on the screen somewhere what I can't see because the screen's blanked out. I tap it and the screen's back on again. So that's 48 seconds. Let's go ahead and stop. Wi-Fi SSID sport camera and Wi-Fi password. So I don't have a, a link on my phone or I don't know it doesn't I didn't see anything that talked about an application. We'll look in the, the stinking manual here in just a minute and see if it talks about an application that comes with it but uh, or it may just tie in straight to your phone and go to whatever camera that you open up on your phone doesn't appear to be touch okay okay if I can get it to do it again not really sure <laughs> this isn't really helpful I understand uh, alright so what I'm doing is I'm pressing it I'm not holding it long enough for it to turn off but maybe a half a second see how it's blinking And suddenly, here we are, there's videos. There's the two little videos I took. Now, uh, hitting the top button, it plays the quick little video. But if I hit the front mode button again, now we're in settings. So, uh, you hit the mode button after you get into it, and it goes away. I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you. I mean, you just click it until finally it goes into. This isn't good already. Okay, so here we are. You hit the OK button and you're in settings. Uh, here we are at the top, red video resolution. Hit OK. And then, of course, you can scroll down through your different resolutions. Set to 4K. Okay, we go back, and so we come down to the next one. Now, here's where you can tell it to record sound or not. I'll probably just tell it to record sound, and then I'll just delete that track or mute it. Uh, and I'll tell you what, it's probably best not to have it record sound. I'll take that off. Uh, time lapse is closed. Uh, so 0.5 seconds, 1 second, 2 seconds, 5, 10, 30, looks like up to 1 minute. Every, every minute it will actually take a, a, a time lapse. So loop recording from 2 to 5 minutes. So let's go back on that. And slow motion is set to 720 by 720p at 120 frames a second, and it can do 1080p at 60 frames a second. So I'm just going to leave that where it's at. I don't, this is not something you're going to shoot slow motion video. If you're doing that, you probably need a real camera. Okay, so now that we're, we've gone through the the options on the menu there, so we're going to hit uh, the front. Uh, mode button and we go to the next section alright and so photo resolution is set to 16 16 megapixels which you know, is fine self timer you can set it from 3 seconds to 20 seconds uh, auto shoot 30 seconds 3 seconds and then burst you can set it uh, from three photos a second to 
10 pictures a second photos all right and so that's everything in the camera section so we hit the on off mode button again and we come over here to exposure <laughs> wow so you can change the exposure I guess from minus two to no, minus three to minus two and I don't know anything about that so I'm leaving it at zero white balance is auto but you can change it from sunny cloudy uh, land what does it say incandescent light fluorescent light and then auto I'm leaving it on auto uh, here's where you'll turn the Wi-Fi on I guess you can have it on automatically now, I'm pretty sure you'll be able to remotely can control this on a phone but being as I record with my phone it's kind of hard for me to do that I do have the Android phone there which I might try to figure out how to get that set up to show a little something here but uh, image rotation so you can change the rotation if the camera is upside down and you want it to film right side up rotate it and then so it'll it'll change the rotation uh, of the, the picture so you can you can well here let's just do it I'd have to actually be filming to do that so I, I have no idea what driving mode is but you can turn that on so you can turn on Wi-Fi image rotation so if it's upside down it'll be right side up um, driving mode which I'm, I'm not sure what that is uh, light source frequency is on auto but you can put it on 50 or 60 LED indicator light is on so if you just don't want the light to show that it's doing anything you can turn that off auto screensaver 30 seconds you can turn that off or you can set it for 10 seconds 20 seconds or 30 seconds so I guess that's fine shut down one minute now I'm gonna probably probably turn that off because it, if I'm gonna leave it like this at one minute and then if it starts to shut off on me like it did while ago when I'm, while I'm here putting pushing buttons then I'll probably uh, just turn that off time watermark so you can put the, the, the show the time on the video and that is everything on on that one so let's go to the little gear icon uh, so of course you got English something 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 Dutch French Italian Espanol Polsky Polish I guess Polish Nederland Portuguese something <laughs> so I'm gonna leave it on English because I only speak one language I don't even speak it good so we'll go down to date and time and it's got the wrong date and time so I'll, I'll let's make sure this thing is even worth keeping before I bother setting all that just step through use your up and down to look at that to change those uh, format will probably format the disk and I don't want to do that um, reset to factory settings don't want to do it firmware version is a long number two zero two three zero four zero four version 33 update two zero two three zero four zero four awesome so and that's everything there again you're at the exit and let's exit so let's uh go ahead and turn that off bye bye we're just going to blank that whole video portion out I am not giving credit card information for an app so what I'll have to do is basically download it onto my iPhone and, and check it out but I'm going to first find out if this thing is even worth keeping wow 
So if it dies, pull the battery out and put it back in and it will resurrect. That's scary. It's very light. Uh, let me see if I can grab. Okay, so here's my GoPro. This is a uh, GoPro Black 7. So I don't know what GoPros are up to, but th that tells you how old this is. Uh, the little door is no longer there. So, uh, just in size, the screen looks about the same, maybe a little bigger. Uh, the actual camera itself, you can see, is, let's try to do apples and apples. Uh, the GoPro's thicker, this is thinner. They're about the same length. And then... So, I would say this is kind of a knockoff of a GoPro. Uh, I have had to replace this, this lens. This, uh, I, I busted it years and years ago. And this has been set up for a long time. Um, waiting on me to actually try to do YouTube again. Uh, that when I first started charging it, it took a while for it to kick that battery in to actually charge. So, weight-wise, uh, they're pretty pretty close there's a noticeable difference the GoPro is heavier there's a notable noticeable difference the GoPro is heavier uh, but there is still a, a, a comparable amount of weight to this as well so uh, I don't know the the outside of this you, you can tell it's cheap plastic uh, the front is got a little bit of that rubberized finish filling Kind of like the GoPro here, uh, but except the, I mean the GoPro is absolutely in every way you can just tell. You can, you can pick this up and you can feel quality. You cannot feel enough to validate what it costs or what I paid for it when I bought it years and years and years ago. But uh, it feels more quality, and this just feels cheaper. Uh, but if this will do what I'm asking it to do, then it's going to replace this uh, because this is a super extremely expensive device to be getting just to be able to do P PIP uh, picture in picture of some test equipment so you can see what the test equipment says whenever I'm doing uh, whatever I'm doing here on the uh, map. So. We're going to see. Uh, hopefully, right now they're here, but hopefully they'll end up there. Uh, and I would love to have more GoPros, even these older ones. Uh, I'd love to have any of the GoPros. Uh, I just can't afford them. So uh, I definitely appreciate your uh, spending your valuable time with me. Uh, I hope you got something out of this, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks, and God bless.